the all new 2024 Tundra Limited TRD Off-Road. In this video, I'm gonna go over what I like about the truck and some things I don't like. My initial impressions of the truck are, it is super comfortable to drive and it's very fun to drive. It's got a lot of power, but it's also very smooth and you just feel like a little kid in this truck. Some of the things I don't like are, and they're not big deals, the interior cab space is a little small compared to what I've been used to. I drove a F-150 before this, um, but like I said, those don't really matter as much. And also there's no tailgate step on this truck. So it's a little difficult to get inside the back of the bed. And it's not a huge deal. I know I can get a, an add-on bed step that mounts under the bumper, but I don't know if I wanna do that yet. So I'll go over some of the modifications I have done to this truck. I did end up putting a Westcott 3-1 lift on this truck. And me and my friend did it, and it was actually pretty fun. It was pretty easy. I know Westcott gets a lot of grief online, and I don't really know why. It does take a little bit of the comfort away, but not a ton. I know people have said with the Westcots that it makes the ride a lot rougher, especially going over speed bumps or rough roads. But, I mean, you shouldn't be going over those things fast anyways. And if you're planning on off-roading in your truck a lot, then you probably should go for the TRD Pro lift on this truck, or don't do any lift at all if you're really looking for that comfort. But like I said, I think the Westcott lift rides really great. Like I said, it does take away some of that comfort, but not much. And for the look you get, I think it's a good trade-off. With the Westcott lift, I went with as big of tires as I could without getting any rubbing and without having to take the mud flaps off. And these are 295 6020s. And with these stock wheels, this is about as big as I could go. I might have been able to go 295 6520s, but I think I would have had to take the mud flaps off and I didn't want to take those off just to save the underside of my truck from any rock chips or anything. And I think they look pretty good. Some angles, the tires look kind of small, but I think it fits really well. Like I said, these stock TRD tires don't have any offsets, so if you're wanting to go with 35s or bigger tires and not having to do any modifications, then you're going to have to get different wheels that have offset on them. But I wanted to save some money, and I do like the look of these wheels, and they don't have much offset at all. If you can see right there, the tires barely stick out. The other thing I've done to this truck is I inserted this black tailgate piece. I really like the look of this. I got it off eBay for $40, pretty good price, and I think it was OEM, and it fits great. It was easy to put on. This truck came with color-matched handles, which looked good, but I decided to put these black cover handles on the truck, and I think it looks really nice. It makes the other badging pop on the truck. One of the first things I did to the truck was tint the front windows. This is a 20 grade tint and it matches great. Overall I've really been liking the truck. I've only owned it for maybe three weeks now. I waited over a year to get this truck and I'm really glad I did because this year they've color matched all the trim including the grill around the windows and they blacked out the mirrors and the badging and they included this TRD grill with the TRD off-road package. And all of these things look really sweet on the truck. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you have any questions, let me know.